Hello and welcome back. This is Ashul Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem with the HTTP and HTTPS redirection. So as you can see, I'm not being able to access this website even uh, when I'm removing this as from here and only putting this HTTP slash then Tahmid dot the domain name. So if I hit enter, you are going to see that this site is not working. And now even I'm not being able to uh, visit my WP admin page Let's remove as from here. It is going to redirect this HTTP URL to HTTPS automatically and I'm not being able to access because we don't have an SSL certificate yet So now I'm going to show you how you can make this corrected from your PHP my admin function So as you can see here, I'm on my um, control panel and here is the website database so I'm going to click on enter PHP my admin so you should go to your websites PHP my admin page so I'm going to click here and after coming here on this section you should find WP options as you can see here it is and you are going to find this option as you can see site URL HTTPS simply you have to make the changes so let me click on edit button here and then I'm going to remove this S from here let's keep HTTP and then I'm going to click on go and it is just loading so let's just wait here we go we have got one reflected so we have got this one um, just updated now if I take you back here and if I simply Let's remove this first. Let's remove S from here. Let's hit enter. And it's still giving us this problem, but let me just take you to a new window. I'm going to take you here. And let's say if I put HTTP colon double slash hit enter. Okay, still it is providing us this problem, but it should be solved uh, within few seconds. And if not being uh, solved, we can simply change the site URL from for this one as well. Okay, so the home page. So let me just click on edit. And after that, let me click uh, remove this as part from here. And after that, let's take you to or actually let's click on go from here. And here we go one row affected now we have got both of this page with http now if i just copy this page from oops copy this from uh, here and if i paste it here it should work okay so let me paste it and hit enter and here we go we have got this web page live and now if we try to um, visit our wp login page wp login and here we go we have got this login page as well appearing but it wasn't appeared few minutes ago so this was a quick video guys i believe you have found it helpful if you did please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to learn more about website development designing using wordpress and elementor thank you so much for watching have a good day